What's up, everyone? Legend begins here with another episode of Phoenix Wright. I believe we do. Wait, they do. I believe we're ready to the witness. To the witness to testify, Your Honor. I can't even do it. I feel so sad. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Wow. That's sad. That's really, really sad. Yes, sir. I received summons in the middle of work, so I'm happy to be of service. T sets a grow there, Abby! So without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony! Very good, sir. Yes, I get to use my British accent. Isn't that amazing? I'm the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel. In business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked me for an iced coffee and brought to her nine o'clock on the dock, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course, and delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Quite a bit of extra information, I see. I see that if May gets its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready, I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May involved with this murder now, I will be finished. Uh-oh. Come on, you can do it. I'm the head bellboy at the Kate Potter Hotel. In business for generations. I'm starting to do Australian instead of British. It's weird. I believe I recently received a call after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. Okay, anyway. Nice coffee to be brought to her at 8 o'clock on the dot, sir. That's better. Anyway. Brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Press. Actually, a better... Surf start! Hold it. Nine o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed the details several times. She's watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. sir. Nine o'clock, time of the murder. Best time, of course. Spills in the beans. Press. Head bellboy. Huh. I check in guests, I check out guests. I clean rooms, I make beds. I even deliver room service, sir. I check Miss May in, in personally. Wow, my British is really badly rusty. So we always say prim. That was, that was pretty bad. Mr. Wright, you're afraid from asking frivolous questions. Wow. Precisely the request of time, of course. Precisely 9 o'clock, then. Precisely, exactly. Most definitely, sir, 9 o'clock p.m. How, how can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy tea! I like iced coffee at 9 o'clock. <laughs> wow, something like that, sir. <laughs> that was actually really good. Before I knocked at the door on the crack of 9 o'clock, sir, I would be so particular about the time. Okay. Uh. Miss May herself. Hold on, I've already done this. Okay, yeah. There we go. Uh, absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in so very absolutely. As in so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Oh, when I brought the room service, sir. Uh, she, she, the guest, sir, favored me with a, um, an embarrasser, sir. <laughs> embarrasser, is that French for em embrace? French will kiss, sir. Uh, not a French kiss, sir. Uh, <laughs> I <can think. laughs> Love this game. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. That's at the moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. <laughs> that was pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the billboard to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? This. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has no, no reason to lie. 
Now, if you have any decency, you will end this or have a tedious cross examination here. Mm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest or give up? Let's give. No, I'm just kidding. Let's protest. Wait, please wait. Yes, does the fence have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection! Your Honor, I must. Your Honor, I must object. The charade of justice has gone on long enough. Doctor Riley here. No, no, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Bed making. Ask him about that. B bed making. Tell me about making the beds that day. I was wondering what you were going to ask, but bed making. No, no. No, no, Mr. Edgeworth. We just went. <laughs> yes, well, it was quite like any other day's bed making. I choose the sheets, the pillowcases. I proceeded to make the bed. I had to bring pillows for two, of course, but they're quite light, you see. I see, thank you. Pillows for two. Wait, that was the right one? <laughs> One! Bellboy, what did you just say? Ah, uh, yes. Pillows are light, sir. Bellboy, tell us the truth. Was someone else saying in this maze room? I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Oh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? But, well, sir, you see, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're not you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite indeed. It was the uh, good minister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who you asked me not to mention if it wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oh, <laughs> you fool! I can't do a German today, or ever, I guess. I've done it. I've won. Sipro may checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that this man in the room? That's right, sir. Mm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Oh. Who is this other person? Simple. It was... Man who checked in with Miss May. Oh, your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man who it was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Why? What the convenient little setup? But it's too late. Too late. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof! Upstart amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. This is sad, because I'm part German. <laughs> Enough! The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Court is adjourned! Woo, guys, high five. High five your monitor right now. Yeah. It's number 7, 224 p.m. District Court, Defense Lobby number one. Mr. Hyde, you're amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? A face of his with eyes wide and trembling lips. It sends shivers up my spine. If you say so. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Oh, yeah, I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? Name of the Miss May. He is the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that? Anyway. I heard they arrested her. I guess she's just learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. 
Yes, sir. I'm, I'm gonna go find out about more about this man. You think it was the one who? Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you! Ask for a full record of Miss April Mace. The testimony, but it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. Now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part they got left on the record. I don't know how much good this will do to me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Mine has a long, long minute, Tim, etc. It's up to me to get her free. To be continued. Well, I guess that looks like a good time to leave. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> December 7, 3.31 p.m. Detention Center. Visitor's room. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dang place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May? No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? I like his hair. What's wrong? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Mm -hmm. For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Ah, uh, this song. About that man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Mm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Wild type? Get the wild type there. Why did you place the wire tape on this uh, maze phone? Oh, when you say it's like this, it's so cold, so criminal. I'm tapping people's phones is a crime. Miss May? Oh, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. How am I supposed to learn that in law school, hmm? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. It's your attitude. Yes. Say. Why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that doesn't bother beating scum-sucking lawyer. The bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers? Or just against me? Okay. Oh, look at her eye twitching. Let's see. Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts. It's a good loss because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. That changed your attitude. Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts. What does this say again? Okay, then. There we go. Something happened. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again, maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. What's this? Old photos. There are two lying here. It's written in pencils on the back. DL6 incident, exhibit A. DL6 incident, exhibit B. Take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. If you're normal, miss just one little photo. It might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Wow, that's stealing. You're not allowed to do that. It's some dude with a purple thing. Some dude with purple hair. What's this? Oh. Is that new? Uh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, welcome, sir. 
quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Hello, hello. How are you today? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Okay. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot. Oh, sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Well, your efforts today can only hope the gate waters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swear as the hotel where a murderer used the wire tape. You can charge a premium for the room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May has been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murder iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are an honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Sure. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir? It's nothing to boast, but the moment I saw her, she'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person is here is this guy. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, oh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you've got a photo of the man, I'm pretty sure I'm quite sure I could identify him. Photo. Hmm. Woo! Do you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. On the subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we have a subtitle. A subtitle? Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Seriously, guys, my British accent is usually way better, but I'm tired. Really tired. Whatever floats your tea set. I'm gonna go pick up that other picture and we'll leave. Leave it off, you know. Take that picture. Why are you gonna steal one but not both? Whoa, 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 the picture's gone. Wait a second, wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it was a painting of... Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Let's try it again. The fisherman? Doesn't matter. It won't a hotel. Yes, quite. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Let me just present to you this image. A photo, if you will. No, no, not that. A photo. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How might I write an affidavit swearing that it's him? An affidavit? The guy's way too excited about this. I can write it down. Well, sure, why not? Yes, I always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Let's hurry up and write it. Make a play down to this. That's creepy looking. Well, I, that looks like it's gonna be it, guys. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I actually thought that case was over. I guess not. Uh, give it a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and uh, do all of the above if you hate Miss April May. So, yes. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.